Welcome to the demonstration of uh, using the South Android software Servex um, to configure the, any of the models of South GPS to dial into the um, RTK Connect service. Um, so I'll just open up the software here. So you can install the software on any Android device, whether it's your phone, tablet, or some sort of a ruggedized um, control that you bought from us. So it's a pretty easy software to use. We've got your four tabs on the bottom here, uh, so you can never really get lost. Um, so the first thing is to go and create a project. So you go to your project manager here. Um, note it's going to save all the project files to a folder called Surpad. You can change that if you want. Um, I'll just go new demo. And I've just chosen to use all the parameters from my last job. I'm using NZ2000 Bay of Plenty um, and I'm using a geoid model. Um, but if you want to change it, just go and click on those menus and you can go and choose any of the coordinate systems uh, in New Zealand. So the first thing to do is to connect the controller to your uh, GPS. So if you come to device here, um, you can just go outside and um, turn on the GPS. Today we're using the um, triple frequency South uh, G1 Plus using a triple frequency Trimble BD 990 motherboard so more satellites and better performance okay, just, um, collect the point it's automatically connecting to the last uh, device that I've uh, been using is the base. I just turn on the camera here and you can see where I am. So um, you know there's the base on the tripod. Here's the rover on the pole. Um, so you can see there's no antenna mounted on the there's no antennas on the receivers. We're going to use the cell phone to dial into the base. So the rover is going to talk to this base. If you have a look in here, you can see there's a two battery slot there. And uh, up the top there, there's a SIM card. So um, I've already configured this unit to um, dial in using the SIM card. Let's go and show you how you actually configure it. So if we come to devices and to come to our comms thing here, when you're choosing your receiver device type, I'll just stop the comms. There's a bunch of options here for receivers. Just choose the very top one. RTK and that'll let you talk to any of the old and new models of um, South um, GPS. So go and highlight the serial number of the receiver. You'll see that underneath the underside of GPS. So just highlight it and then click connect and the Bluetooth will, will connect to that receiver. So for the base, this has already been configured, but you just enter in all the details here. And you can see down the bottom here, I've got already configured RTK Connect with the access point 299 and a password. So if I click apply. It's now dialing onto the server. So it 
takes it about a minute to it starts hand shaking with the server and so now the base is transmitting all the RTK corrections to the computer server which is in Tauranga here it can be anywhere in New Zealand or the world in fact to then switch over to my rover I'll just go and turn my rover on and I've got to go to my comms first and just say stop so I stop talking to the base and then I highlight my rover that I'm going to talk to and go connect Bluetooth now Bluetooth GPRS mode is the um, using the SIM card. Bluetooth is connected. So it's just dialing in automatically based on my settings I've already configured to start talking to the base beside me. Allow a minute for it to do that. Succeed to dial. Succeed to log on server. Fixed. So you can see the top of the screen now. We've got a fixed status. Um, so if we want to see where the base is, if you just look at these top icons, click on the satellite one, click on base and you can see the distance to the reference is one and a half meters which is correct. So off we go and we go and do our survey. Um, now if we come back to our rover, under the survey tab here you've got all your normal point survey, stakeout points, lines, stakeout, stakeout over a DTM, you've got full functionality there. So if I want to change from using my own base um, using a SIM, I can then dial into the LIMS station. So, for example, to do that, if we just come down to our course settings, you can see here, if I just edit that, this is where we enter all the RTK Connect settings, the IP, the port, the username, password. But if I want to go and say dial into a LINS station, I'll just highlight LINS, go OK. And then come down to my mount point here. Go and choose my mount point. I don't see any there. Um, so let's just go and find some. Um, just remove that one there. Get mount points. And then let's go and see what mount points. Here we go. So I'm in Tauranga, so I'll just select Tauranga, go apply. And it will now be dialing into the nearest uh, new station, Tauranga. warning me I'm now using a different base station. Quite handy. We're using UHF and you accidentally log on to some idiot's base station. Again if I click on the satellite button up there, click on base, and you can see the distance to the references now is just under five kilometers. So I'm definitely dialed into the the Linz station now, but of course. So, um, that's it. so on the survey here, you've got all your functions there. The software is quite um, customizable. You can um, that little icon up there. You can choose the style of your layout. You can have just a single screen layout like this, so you can't get lost. So if you are using a chimpanzee to operate the system, this might be quite useful. personally prefer the list. Which. 
So yeah, and also uh, the menus that are displayed here, you have um, the ability to customize them. So if you come down this menu here, you can turn off and on um, the various menus. And that's the same when you're inside a survey menu. Uh, you have the ability to go and customize what information is displayed on the various information bars and menus. So you have a, a lot of customization um, and of course, a lot of the reasons that people are using Android now is just the better performance battery wise, uh, better screen quality and brightness, and obviously a more affordable hardware option uh, that can be obtained uh, locally. So uh, that's all I've got to say for now. So um, thank you very much for listening.